is coming. Yeah. Probably is in the backside of some poor wench. Excuse you, brother. That wench has a name. Shelly or Sarah. Point is, the language towards women is degrading. Dr. Michaels, could you please tell him the session was supposed to start 17 minutes ago? Hey, Dr. Michaels, could you please tell that he looks like an Arabian Mr. Clean? I mean, come on, honestly, dude. You could have passed an H&M on the way here. It's a materialistic thing, but this world do not concern me. Guys. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm supposed to soak up the sinful blood of mankind? No, dude, you're dressed like a dirty tampon. Like, smell yourself. You dress like you sell cocaine out of the back of a club. Oh, and you're dressed like... Did you say cocaine? Guys, please. Maybe start the session now? Yes, yes, Dr. Michaels, my apologies. Come on, man, we're on a beach vacation. <laughs> so, what I've observed during individual sessions with the three of you is that it seems you are under an extraordinarily large amount of paternal stress. Does that sound right to you? That's incorrect. My father, Our. My father loved me very much. He's known to be kind, compassionate, and gracious, and loving. Oh, I'm sorry, daddy's girl. When was the last time you seen him? Oh, and please try to think deep in your brain and remember because I know for a fact lying is a sin. Oh, uh, that, that's what I thought. Is that true, Jesus? Have you not heard from your father in a while? Well, he's a busy You're Bullshit! He abandoned him just like he abandoned me. He abandoned you because you tricked humanity into straying from the light. I gave humanity a choice to think for themselves. That's more than your sorry ass has ever done for them. Excuse me? You know, I see the holes in these hands, in my feet. I even have one in my side from some Roman spear. The only holes I see are the ones in between your legs. Oh, I don't think you get it, do you? I died for these people. And I never asked you to do that. Dad did. Guys! Dad never loved you. I you know he ever loved you. Enough! You goddamn emotionally stunted children sits! I had enough of you two. You come in here. You bicker for so long, I can barely get a word in. You insult each other needlessly, and then you get into a physical altercation. But I... Uh, you've wasted my time. You've burnt my fern, and you've inebriated my fish. He... Shut up! Your father manipulated both of you. Okay? And it's not your fault. Neither of you. You had a shitty distant, manipulative father with absurdly high standards. You should be angry at him, not even each other. Session notes, interpersonal therapy case, 
8866, the brothers. Uh, they bickered, destroyed my office, and demeaned each other for half the session, yet progress made. Personal note, call Heather. Thank you.